Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to understand the coalesce function in Oracle SQL. In this coalesce function, we will be passing number of expressions to this function. You can pass n number of expressions to the coalesce function. Coalesce function would return first not null expression from the list of expression that we have provided. Say suppose we have provided three expressions. The very first expression that can be expression 1, 2 or 3, whichever is not null will be returned to the calling environment. If expression 1 is not null, that will be returned. If expression 1 is null and expression 2 is not null, then expression 2 will be returned. If both expression 1 and 2 are not null, then the third expression, that is expression 3, will be returned. If all the expressions passed to the coalesce function result to null, then the coalesce function will return null to the calling statement. Now, a user must at least pass two expressions to the coalesce function. A less than that would raise an error. Over here, Oracle Database uses a short circuit evaluation. What is, does it? Instead of checking all the expressions and then finding out which one of them is null, Oracle Database will uh, evaluate each expression and determine whether it is null. Each one by one. Like that can be understood with this if else statement. So say suppose your coalesce expression is like expression 1, 2 and 3 then the if else statement that we can derive from it is like if expression 1 over here is not null then expression 1 is, ret is the result. Okay. If expression 1 was null then this condition would have gone to false and the else if part would come into existence and it would check like if else if expression 2 is not null then the result is expression 2. So as you can see we have transformed from 1 then to 2. Now even if this condition goes to false then the third one is checked like else if expression 3 is not null then the result is expression 3. So that is it first it checked expression 1 if it is not if it is null that means this condition is false okay then it checks the second one if that is also you know null then the third one is checked. Now if say third one is also null then the fourth one will check consecutively all will be checked. If all of them results to null then a null is returned. So that is what callSec function does it. It takes the input as a list of expression. It checks one by one and the very first one that is not null that is returned. So we can understand that with a simple SQL statement as you can see on the screen the second one what I've done is I've written call sec and then my list of expressions are like A, B, C and D. So when I execute it, the result is A. Why? Because call sec has checked the first expression. Now this has returned to some not null data. A is not null. So it has written that on the screen. Now it doesn't matter what is behind it. But say suppose the very first expression is null. Like in this third select statement. So the call sec has null, B, C and D. So when I execute this, the result is B. Why? Because the first expression results to null. So the second one is checked. The second one is not null. So the result is given to, to the calling uh, SQL statement. Now see suppose uh, our call sec has like A then null then C then null. In that case when it is executed the very first expression I get that is A that is not null. So that is returned to the uh, call to the call. It doesn't matter after that whether there is null or C or null, whatever is behind it. The first not null uh, result is given out. Now if all of your expression in the call sec function is null, say so it was call sec and then null, null, null. In that case, nothing can be done, right? Everything, everything results to null. So the output is also null. To understand this in a uh, table and column way, so I am using the HR schema and I have taken this simple example of employees table. I have taken employee ID, manager ID, commission PCT and salary. As you can see all the employees have manager ID. Only employee ID 100 has manager ID as null. Okay. Also the commission PCT for that very employee ID is 100. Uh, for 100 is null. For others there are some not null values, there are some not null values also. And then we have salary, which is not null for all the employees. So I've written a call sec function such as I've first taken call sec, then manager ID, first expression, second expression commission PCT, and third expression salary. That is, first of all, manager ID would be checked. For if the manager ID is not null, that data will be returned. If manager ID is null, 
say suppose in the case of employee ID 100, then this second expression, commission PCT is checked. If commission PCT is, you know, not null, like in the cases of all of this, then that might be returned if manager ID is null, okay. And then the last one is salary. So when I execute the statement, for employee ID 100, we get the uh, output of call sec function as double five double six seven. That is the salary. What happened is, first of all, manager ID was checked. It was null. So commission PCT was checked. That was also null. So the salary part is checked. Okay, salary is not null. So the salary is returned. Okay, for others, the manager ID is not null. You know, everyone has a manager. So the call sec function just returned those manager IDs. Okay. So over here, if I have not used this salary column and then executed it, as you can see for employee ID 100, null is returned. Why? Because manager ID is null, then commission PCT is null, so null is returned. Now as I stated, you must pass at least uh, minimum two expressions to the call sec function. If you don't, it raises an error saying not enough argument for the function. Okay, so this is how call sec function works. Uh, it will look for the very first expression with not null data and then return that. Okay, and it will check one by one, the first one, then second one, then third one, that way. So this is all about call sec function. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I have similar videos on NVL, NVL2 and Nullif also. Please do check out them too. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe. Please do comment on the videos. This is Kishan signing off. Thank you.